Hey guys, just another boring, super quick diagnostic video and like you're just going to be so confused at the end of this because on one hand you've got injectors that high K's that seem to last ages and then you've got injectors at low K's that are noisy and it is a confusing game I've got to tell you and that's why you know we've got to specialise in it so have a good really understanding of it. I'm just trying to share that information with everyone. So this is the Hilux 2014 with <clears throat> 111,000 K's as you can see. And we're just having a quick look at the diagnostic and I've had a look and it's pretty boring so this is going to be a really short video there's nothing to see here right all your load reading normal okay all your other readings not going to go through them all short video right injection volume in this case beautiful all your one two three fours beautiful Pilot 1, 2, main injection period, beautiful. everything's beautiful, right? Timing's good. Fuel pressure's good, right? There's nothing to see here. So this is the problem we've got. So we've got full DLC injectors, a 2014, that there should be nothing wrong with them. The readings say everything's good. And this is where I've said before many times, and many people missed it, you can't trust the readings alone. They're on, see, I've got to be clear, different vehicles, different stories. So with the 1KDs from September 09 onwards, it always looks okay, usually. Not always, but, you know, usually. Where up until then, September 09, you, I could look at the diagnostic and tell you how many Ks the vehicle's done. So it changed. Can't really rely on it. Anyway, without going into wasting too much time, too much detail, what do you do here? What a dilemma. You've got this beautiful 2014, 111,000 Ks only. All the diagnostics look okay. So do you change the injectors or not? Because if you heard it when it was cold, it's terrible. So my answer, as hard as it is, because I can't stand waste. And remember what I said, you know, that God honest truth, swearing on the Bible and all that's what I do all the time. I'm always sworn to honesty, always. So... If this was my vehicle, I'd be putting injectors into it. As much as if I purchased it at this amount of Ks in this year, I'd be going, well, I won't have to for another, you know, I'd push it up to at least 150, 160, 170, 180, somewhere around there, because then I'd be nervous about the seats, and then, you know, then it's a consideration after that. We won't go into it. We're keeping it short, right? But with the rattle this has got. So what we're going to do, this was a short video, right? That's it, done. I'm going to, if I've got a chance, I'm going to do one more video in the morning from stone cold no diagnostic tool i'm not going to talk so when you see the next video after this one it's just going to be me driving and you listening okay i'll try not to talk unless there's a time i can talk that doesn't interrupt thanks for watching this one hope you liked it hope you learned something i'm just trying to demonstrate it is a dilemma on one hand all the readings are fine have a listen to this engine it's beautiful clean as anything and it drives beautiful now that it's warmed up but we have serviced it we did change the fuel filter and maybe there's been some improvement throughout any of those things we've done and a few other things but i mean you know we've done we've done a service and this is the third road test i did from cold i believe it was still noisy when it was cold but before when i drove it once it warmed up it still made some noises that i wasn't happy with but on this drive I'm going, that's beautiful. I don't want to change the injector because that sounds good. And then I plug it in and I go, diagnostic looks great. So on one hand, I don't want to do the injectors, but I don't want to be the guy that says don't do them and that it ends up being, you know, causing issues with the engine. So catch in the morning, we'll go for a drive and you can have a listen to it. And we won't have this bodgy cabin crew wobbly phone holder. Uh, we'll have something decent for you. So be sure to subscribe and turn the bell on so you don't miss it. Catch you then, guys. See ya.